Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at the Andaz Hotel, Liverpool Street. Um, it's now been announced. It's official. Ben Whitaker will be taking on Aaron Yicker. How are you, sir? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, let's talk about the Wardley Clark presser. Um, first of all, why did you want to kind of insert yourself into the mix with Ben Whitaker? To create noise, to get known, to build my profile. And yeah, I am. On a big undercard in Cellos Park on June 15th, you know, it's um, fighting for a belt. This is what dreams are made of, you know. So I'm here to capitalize and enjoy myself. I know a lot of people are saying, including a lot of the media, are saying Ben Wicker is the next star of boxing. Um, do you see him as a stepping stone and you, you're going to put your name on the map on June 15th? That's the point. That's the whole point behind all this is to put my name on the map. I see him as a stepping stone. It's a part of my career, it's part of my journey, it's part of my legacy and defeating him is going to be amazing and it's going to really announce me to the world. Did you think he'd take the fight? To be honest with you, because of the build-up, yeah, yeah, I knew he would take the fight because it's great, it's great for TV, it's great for selling, so yeah, 100%. Ben Whitaker had a lot to say about you up on that press conference there. Uh, did you feel disrespected by any of that? He, all he said was shout yourself, buy me a chain, buy me this, buy me that. He's a very shallow-minded person, you know, you get what I'm saying? He, he does boxing for the wrong reasons and I didn't take it personal, but I just took it as, as a child, you know, someone that doesn't know himself and just talking a lot of nonsense. What are those reasons then? Why do you believe Ben Whitaker does box? I, he says it works for his family, but I, I believe it does it so I can look good on Instagram and buy flashy stuff and all that. So, yeah, he's, he's, he needs to get his purpose right. What's the difference between yourself and Ben Whitaker? I love boxing. I love fighting. My dad didn't take me to the boxing gym. I went to the boxing gym myself. His dad took him to the boxing gym. I'm a true fighter in my heart. And, yeah, and I do boxing to make a difference. That's the difference between me and him. Do you feel like you've got the belief that previous opponents who have fought Ben Whitaker hadn't, hadn't have? Yeah, I've got more belief than them because I don't respect him. I'm not scared of him. There's no fear here, so I'm here to do the needful. And I'm going to knock him out, man. You know what, in life, you've got to believe in yourself. And I'm backing myself. I'm speaking in it, I'm believing it, and I'm going to achieve it. Um, up on there, you uh, mentioned about Anthony Joshua and um, kind of the impact he's had on you. Yeah, so... Do you believe if it weren't for those who are inspirational figures like AJ, you wouldn't be fighting today? Uh, most likely not, because AJ made it possible because I'm a late starter of boxing, just like him. I started boxing at 21, and when I see him, I was like, okay, I can do this too. You get what I'm saying? He inspired me, and we've got similar backgrounds being Nigerians, and so for me, that just gave me more motivation. And yeah, yeah, I am today fighting on Sky. It's crazy, man. Eight years down, it's crazy. So for me, it's a dream to come true. Uh, just last one. Have you got a message for Ben Whitaker for June 15th? Yeah, boy, train hard and let's get it cracking, man. Let's make it an interesting fight. Let's make it one the British public will remember forever. Excellent. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.